What's up guys? You know, every year I feel like Android manufacturers are taking away features and there's certain manufacturers like LG who are still grounded to those roots. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the LG V20. This is not your typical Android phone and I mean this because this still has a removable battery. This is something that's kind of rare nowadays, including the Samsung Galaxy lineup. They've completely omitted removable batteries and it seems like more manufacturers are doing this. Now I like the way they kept this by pushing on this little side button and it opens up the back flap. Another thing that this phone does have is expandable storage and you can upgrade it using a micro SD card. Now in regards to the battery, don't let manufacturers fool you into thinking they cannot put removable batteries in their devices. Take a look at the iPhone 7 Plus. If we put these phones side by side, they're pretty much the same thickness and you don't see anybody complaining about the iPhone 7 Plus. And it's a good thing that LG includes a removable battery, 3200 milliamps to be exact because this is a powerhouse of a phone. And it pretty much has most of all of the great specs that you would expect on an Android phone today. Take for example, fingerprint reader that is located on the rear. You have dual rear facing camera. One is a wide angle, the other one is more of a medium shot. You also get a wide angle front facing camera for those selfie lovers out there. Quad HD display, which looks really good by the way. The best DAC in the business on any smartphone today. And also, this is running the latest version of Android 7.0. But it doesn't stop there. This phone also has other features like a secondary display located at the very top, which I find very useful because you can put shortcuts for your quick toggles or also applications. But with all of these great specs and features, is this really the Android phone to get? Well, that all depends on you. Do you want removable battery? Do you want expandable storage? How about an impressive dual camera setup that also gives you pro controls like being able to custom white balance your shot, ISO controls, and also shutter speed. What about the audio recorder on this phone? This is truly next level, giving you a wider dynamic frequency by using three intelligent mics. Trust me when I say this, it's damn good. Now let's not forget about the secondary display, which is actually a personal favorite of mine. And I do like how some apps do take advantage of this. Now, if you're into high fidelity sound, you're definitely gonna appreciate this phone. And as I said earlier, the DAC is the best of any smartphone available as of filming this video. And the best part about this is that it comes with Android Nougat, which is faster than ever. So the question really is, do you really want a phone that has all of these features? I don't know. That is the beauty of Android, that we have so much choices that you're gonna vote with your wallet. Now guys, follow me on Snapchat if you guys wanna see more behind the scenes of what we do. Also, let me know if you guys have any questions regarding this phone. This is just a first impressions video and I'll be doing a more in-depth video coming soon. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios. Thank you.